Well, welcome back, boys and girls. Let's pray. Thank you, God, that you're so good to us and we don't even deserve it, but despite all the bad things we've done, you still love us. And I pray that you'll help me with this lesson now. In Jesus' name, amen. Psalm chapter 119, verse 11, says the following. I have stored up your word in my heart, that I might not sin against you. So David is praying to God, and he's telling God, God, I've stored up your word in my heart so that I won't sin against you. You know, one day you'll grow up and eventually you'll leave the house, you'll leave your parents' house and go out into the world somewhere else. And when that day comes, then you won't have your parents around you all the time to tell you, do this, don't do that. You will be the one making the decisions in your life. And it's almost like it can be a little bit scary or a little bit of a jump into the unknown. Almost like jumping out of an airplane. Go, 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 go! Now, I've never jumped out of an airplane, uh, but my uncle was uh, a paratrooper in South Africa. But basically, usually the idea is when you're jumping out of an airplane, you want to have a parachute with you, one that works. And how they make sure that or expect parachutes to work is you have to physically pack the parachute with your hands. You got to fold it up and put it in the little parachute backpack so when you pull the rope you know a parachute comes out you know you don't want to accidentally grab your school backpack you you pull the rope the zipper goes open and your math book flies out then you're in trouble so that's the same idea here David has taken the Word of God and he's packed it in his heart and when he's in a dangerous situation, you know, he needs God's help. He pulls the, the Word of God parachute string and then God helps him. And then he doesn't make a sudden landing on the ground with no parachute. He comes in, you know, a little more gently. Well, to try and illustrate this, I've thought of using, you know, we got Batman over here. We got this American Viking guy, where you sort of, I don't know how many of you have jumped off a bunk bed with a plastic bag around your arms, like a parachute, to know how well you can see this on the camera. But basically, it's the idea that he's going to jump out of the the chopper or the airplane, and then he's going to float more slowly than what he would have if he just was like got confused one day and thought instead of Batman he was Superman and then he, he fell down like that so I've never packed the parachute but I can think it it's not on the list of 100 most exciting things to do and in the same way, you might think reading the Bible is boring or reading the Bible is useless or it'd be more fun to watch videos or play video games. Um, but reading the Bible is important. It's important doing that work to pack your heart, pack your, your head with the Word of God so that when you're in a situation where you need guidance, you need the voice of God, then you can remember the things that God has said in the Word. So, Psalm 119, verse 11, I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Because you won't stay home forever. Eventually, you'll leave home, and then you'll be out in the real world um, without living at your parents' house. 
and you'll be sort of like a, a, a soldier in, in God's army, not with a gun, um, but you get the idea, when you move out of the house, it's like jumping out of an airplane, and you want to have a parachute, and you want that parachute not just to be full of uh, comic books and memes, you want that parachute to be full of the Word of God to help you along in this life. Alright? So start packing your parachute, start packing your mind and your heart with Bible verses now so that when you leave the house, you're ready. Alright? Because many young Christians or people that grew up in Christian homes, they don't do that. They don't memorize the Bible, they don't really read the Bible. And then when they leave the house and jump out of the airplane, too many holes in their parachute. And the result, and of course spiritually, not physically, the result is not pretty. You get people that stop believing in God, stop going to church, stop living like Christians should. And the end result is, is not a pretty sight at all. Let's pray. Dear God, I thank you that you've given us the Bible. Help us to read it, even if it's not exciting, even if it takes discipline. Help us to grow closer to you. In Jesus' name, amen. May God bless you. Go, 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 go.